show you the new Palm Street. The Palm Street will help you live your life more effectively. It keeps you a little bit ahead of the game. It's so much in sync with you that sometimes it feels like it's sticking your head for you. Now this is what it looks like on the big screen. It's beautiful. Design team, the chemical engineering team, did a phenomenal job. I think it's just beautiful. Now let's talk about some technologies. Right? We're going to get the propeller team spinning a little bit. We'll talk about what's in stock. We wanted you to have a lot of data available. So we built in the EVO, Web A, and 802.11 B and G Wi Fi. And we didn't want you to get lost. So we built in GPS with third party turn by turn navigation. And we wanted you to use the latest pool accessories. So we built in Bluetooth, version 2.1, with EDR, and stereo support. You know, I've got some of those nice new Bluetooth stereo speakers sitting on my desk. They sound great. And because you'll be putting a lot of information, a lot of data on the device, we built in 8 gigabytes of storage. And because you'll need to be processing all of that information, we built in a really fast processor. We're using TI's latest OMAP 3430 processor. Tree is the first smartphone with this processor. And it combines laptop-like performance with a mobile power footprint. Now let's take a look at some details. Let's take a look at the front. It has a gorgeous 3.1-inch display, half DGA resolution, that's 320 by 480. And it's got a touchscreen with multi-touch capability. Now the touchscreen goes over the display area, but also extends down to the center button. And that area below the, the, below the display is called the gesture area. And we're going to tell you a lot more about that in a little while. Tree also has a variety of sensors, so it knows about the environment that it's in. Now let's flip around the side. You have volume up down. You flip around the back. It gives you a three megapixel camera with LED flash and extended depth of field capability. We have some awesome DSP software that allows you to take phenomenal photographs. And there's a speaker, so you can do a speaker phone or listen to some music. And by popular demand, we've allowed you to remove the back and replace the back. Yeah. Let's flip around the other side. Micro USB connector for charging, and we give you high speed USB 2.0 with USB mesh storage support. So it looks just like a USB drive. Flipping around the top, <coughs> industry standard 3.5 millimeter headset jack. So you can use those beautiful palm headsets or whatever your favorite are. Mine are like those bows and always canceling ones. We have the traditional palm ringer on and off switch and a power button. Happen once, three goes to sleep. Hold it down, and you get a choice of airplane mode with the radios off, or completely power down the device. Now, it's great to use touchscreen devices. This way, there's many, many things you can do with it just like this. But sometimes, you want to jam out an email and instant message. And you know, one of those cheesy virtual keyboards just won't cut it. So we gave you a great slide out for your keyboard. Yeah. Okay, let's flip it around the side. See, it's got a beautiful ergonomic curve. It's great in your hand or against your face. And it works as a phone, either open or closed. Now, let's compare the size to some of our the more uh, popular smartphones out there today. You see that the engineering team did a phenomenal job squeezing all of that technology in a really compact enclosure. Weighs 4.8 ounces, fits easily in your pocket, and it's a blast to use, single-handed, or if you want to jam out email with both hands. Now, we'd like to show you how it works. And to do that, I would like to introduce you to Matthias Gorka. 
Matias is our Senior Director of Human Interface and Human Experience. And Matias, along with his team, working closely with our software engineering team, have done an amazing job of creating a new platform. So Matias, why don't you come on out and show us